Hello. In this session, I talk about Shanghainese, which is also called Shanghai Wu, Wu being a cluster of languages in the southeastern part of mainland China. Please take a look at this map. The arrow points to the greater Shanghai area. And then on this page, on the right, there is this uh, picture about um, so-called all the Chinese languages or dialects, if you want, and also the non-Chinese languages as well in this um, bluish part. On the left, you see the areas where Wu languages are spoken. Notably, in addition to Shanghai, there are also some famous cities and towns after which the languages are named Suzhou, Ningbo, Shaoxing, Hangzhou, and uh, Changzhou, and uh, also um, Wenzhou here, which is um, rather indistinguishable from other Wu languages. So the Wu languages um, claim cluster of speakers of um, 80 million. For Shanghai Wu, it's mainly spoken by people in the greater Shanghai area, which accounts for about um, 6,340 kilometers with a regular resident number of 24 million plus. Um, almost all the speakers of Shanghainese also speak Mandarin. By the year 2020, um, it is estimated that more than 20 million speakers of Shanghainese live there in the greater Shanghai area. If we look at the development of Shanghai Wu, um, then we can identify three periods. The first period is called early Shanghainese. It started um, from the mixing of Middle Chinese with the indigenous Bai Yue languages. And uh, that period, um, Shanghainese took shape um, at a time um, approximately near the spring and autumn period. And then the formation period for the language went all the way to the Han dynasties. And um, we can identify a second period, um, which starts from 1843, um, that is after the First Opium War, when Shanghai became a trading port open to the Western powers, following the signing of the Treaty of Nanjing. So a lot of people migrated there. And that is a period for modern Chinese, which ended in the mid 1950s when the central government of China um, published a series of regulations forbidding the use of um, the so-called dialects uh, being published in their own um, special forms. And um, contemporary Chinese started since the 1950s. For contemporary Shanghainese, we can identify three variants. The old variant is nearest to modern Shanghainese. It, it is typically spoken by people born in the 1920s and 30s. And um, it is still widely used in the suburban areas. Um, occasionally, you can even find some small children who can speak very fluent old variants in these areas. And there are many different versions of the old variant depending on the location. The middle variant is taken to be the standard variant. And um, it used to be um, spoken by the majority of middle-aged people in the urban Shanghai area, but that should be the definition for the 1980s and 90s. So it is still being spoken by those people, but they are no longer in their middle ages. The new variant 
is mostly used by young people in the urban area nowadays. And uh, it has some distinct phonetic and lexical features, but it overlaps a lot with the middle variant. And it is often code mixed with um, Putonghua, that is Mandarin Chinese. What makes Shahanese unique? I think there are several aspects. One is that it is mutually unintelligible with some other major Han languages like Cantonese and Mandarin. But it is mutually intelligible with most of the Wu Chinese, except perhaps for Wen Zhou Wu, but the, 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 there is still some overlaps. And um, Shanghai Wu used to be the representative of the Wu languages but uh, it is not good representative anymore because Chinese has assimilated so much of um, Mandarin um, in terms of lexis and grammar. Um, it has also lost a lot of its distinct sounds. So um, I think that um, it is probably fair to say that um, some other um, Wu languages um, not that affected by the inroads made by the Mandarin uh, should be taken as the representative now. Shanghainese has five tones, um, and also it is rich in tone sandy, and also predictable. Um, that makes it different from some other Han languages. Um, these other languages are either poor in tone sandy or they have tone sandy, but you can't really work out the rule for that. Chinese has a unique lexicon that I'm going to talk about later. And it also has an idiosyncratic grammar um, that uh, has been very much overlooked in the past studies, but um, it is gaining popularity. Um, I mean, the study of Chinese grammar. Um, this is obviously too big a topic for me to talk about here but I'll, I'll talk about the sentence final particles. What is also interesting is that a modern Shanghai Mu is the most recorded in written form next to Mandarin. That uh, is because of the special contributions made by uh, missionary linguists that um, lived and worked in Shanghai uh, during the period when modern Shanghainese was spoken. And these published forms are beginning to be usable uh, because of the digitizing efforts uh, made in many overseas libraries. Now, the phonology of Chinese. I read the example expressions first, and then I pronounce the sounds, the relevant sounds again. Ba ba. Po po p bu bu b ma ma m fa fo f fu fo v dia dia d ta ta t dong dong d Nu nu, n, ling long, l, zi zi, zi, cha chu, c, sen so, s, se zi, z, jia jia, j, qing che. Ji ji nyu nyu ni nyu ning nyu rounded xiu xie sh zia zia z z gu gu 
克库克，共用格，硬乌，嗯，好乎，啊，啊，包子。滋日日，喇叭啊，呼出哦，报告哦，耳朵哦，来西哎，布布哦，笔记。一，呀呀呀，悄悄哟，九六哟，几夜夜，姑父屋。哇哇哇！乖乖乖！管理我女主与与去与别哦，嗯嘛，嗯嗯呐，嗯。嗯的，嗯，嗯，朗上，昂，刚刚，昂，稳定，嗯，笼统，昂，八达，阿，博国，阿。啦啦，呃，香香香，手痒痒，精灵英，汹涌涌，吃呀呀。大约约日节约光虎汪光汪汪哇光汪哇困难哇哇哭。我，我的我，均匀，匀，匀，月亮，月。Now we come to tone in Shanghai Wu. First tone, um, 错，字，开。We have these some um, characters put together, um, just to facilitate memorizing. But in fact, each syllable should be read apart. Otherwise, um, we'll see a tone sandy, which I'm going to talk about later. So again, 错，字，开，字， second tone. 好，手，真，好，这同，穷，人，老，人，女，人，嗯，龙，鱼。Fourth tone, 
足、擦、出、擦、黑、作、擦、黑。fifth。the， 绝 ，the， 啥 ，the， the， 啊 ，is the tonal value， and、uh, we now come to tone sandy， 啊、uh, ，so that means that um it is a phonological change occurring in tone languages in which The tones assigned to individual words or morphemes change based on the pronunciation of adjacent words or morphemes. There are many variations.、Um, we look at the word internal sandy. So one plus one means two syllables、um, combined. The initial syllable, if it starts with the first tone, then、um, we'll have this.、Um, Sandy,、uh, I read each syllable apart first without tone sandy, and then I read them together with tone sandy. E, sang, e sang, jo, gui, jo gui, xiang, gang, xiang gang. Second, D, Xing, D Xing, Zhong, Gui, Zhong Gui, Si Bing, Si Bing. Third one, Si Chang, Si Chang, Ngā, Si Ngā Si. 摩嘎，摩嘎，比啊，比啊，棒有，棒有，比你。This 你 can appear in a special street called 呃、uh, 尼西路啊，尼啊，比你。比尼 ，fourth， 擦 ，show， 擦 show， 发，刮，发刮 ，fifth， 列，衬，列衬，多，四，多四，拉。Ta, la, ta, three syllables combined. Deng, xing, nyong, deng xing nyong, se, len, chu, se len chu, xing, che, ping, xing che ping. Second type, dang, xiang, dang, dang xiang dang, ho, bang you, should be bang you, and then ho bang you. You see that bang you, ho bang you, xiao. 一、四、一四、小一四、哈、克、王、哈、克、王。It's a special kind of um dry cake. Third type. 上、升。鼓，上升鼓，嗯，向，得，嗯，向得
老豆子，老豆子，日光灯，日光灯，肉馒头，馒头，肉馒头，肉馒头，辣口福。La Cofo, it's a kind of drink. And I refrain from talking about four syllables combined due to the time constraint. And the above are broad Hongsendi types uh, with no pauses within the word. And the opposite would be narrow Sendi with internal pauses. And uh, usually um, we're talking about word external um, syllables put together. Um, for example, about the grammatical structure, verb object construction, for example. Um, there are also studies about these um, narrow types of tone sandy on an experimental phonetic basis. Now I talk about the unique lexicon of Shanghai Wu. The first source of its uniqueness um, concerns the words and expressions that are typically Wu, um, which is different from the Northern Chinese. So in terms of word formation, uh, you don't find equivalents, um, although you can always translate. Or so, um, sometimes we say, or so, so, that means uh, make haste. Quickly, be quick. Ingenge, just a little. Be dang, easy. Chalewu, it means uh, someone has made a mess of something. Biese, um, it's a derogatory term about someone who is in penury and um, useless. Lolu, um, someone who is um, showy and arrogant. Chana, that is um, equivalent to the um, English F word. Dongjing, it means someone is clever, shrewd, because he knows the rules well. And probably sometimes also um, he puts on the right type of clothes. Zadeng, it means um, someone wants to show off. They pick up to punish someone by getting him stand at, at, at the corner of a room uh, for a long time. Kayu, um, that means uh, you touch on something oily and uh, get some oil from it, for example, a a piece of pork, but then its extended sense means that uh, you take advantage of something, uh, for example, for a man to touch a woman. Lo yu si, again, it's another way to mean benefit uh, from something. Che sang wo, it means um, get beaten. So do, um, that means someone who is dumb, um, stupid. Aguamo means small potato. Nyehun, that means someone is um, silly in doing something unusual. Chabola, so someone is too full in stomach, so he does something extraordinary, unwise. Nong song, uh, to pull someone's legs. Yang bu, a silly person. Yo nikolo, from some unknown corners. Deng de lo, means uh, again being silly, uh, not knowing what to do. Cha mo it means someone uses his um, index finger. Uh, 
to crack on some other's head. And the Chinese borrows a lot from European languages, especially from English, French, and um, German, and also it borrows from Japanese. Hato, um, it is a, a special dessert. Um, it looks like a, a hot dog bun, um, but covered with chocolate and inside there may be cream, um, but the term is borrowed from hot dog. Namuan, number one, usually the uh, head worker in a workshop, in a factory. Namuan is not used anymore. Stick, um, sticker, um, that means a walking stick. But top, and in fact, it's it's pronounced as bata. Um, that's uh, bata in English. Spelling su, um, that is in in fact a kind of lock. Uh, it's called spring lock. Sting, sting, um, radiator. Smenting, cement. When chance. Chance means chance. When chance means you take your chance. Um, it means um, someone who is um, working and try to get his luck in life. There are also um, expressions that are culturally loaded because of the unique place in, of Shanghai in China. For many, many years, Shanghai was the most modern place in the whole China. Shangzhekuo uh, means the uh, elite areas. Wuzhekuo means the place where the poorest live. Gangboning means um, the community of people from the, a certain part north of Yangtze River um, that emigrate to Shanghai um, who speak with a special accent and that are looked down by those people in older times. Gardening, um, non-local people. That's also a term that Shanghai people would like to use to distinguish themselves from others. Ngado means foreign country, um, and Ngadi means the Chinese areas that do not belong to Shanghai. Tio um, it means um, if someone is desperate, he will jump into the river of Wangpu and kill himself. To Shipo Xinlu, Shipo Xinlu means it's a, it's a special street where there is, is a, a dead person gets cremated. So although Shanghai has a, a, a larger uh, moratorium, um, but people use this smaller one for this set expression. Da Guangming is the name of the biggest cinema in Shanghai. I think I can house about 1,000 audience. Now I talk about grammatical features in modern Shanghainese. I would prefer to refer to modern Shanghainese because um, it has many interesting features, uh, very different from other languages uh, that have become either ob obsolescent or obsolete. But we can study the written records um, like Bible translation, church pamphlets, grammar books, textbooks, and uh, also from studying the three written forms of Shahanese, especially those written in Roman letters and in invented characters, we can get a good idea of how Shahanese was pronounced.
Um, these are some recent books. In this um, book, Grammar to Dialect the Chiangai, um, then um, there is some interesting description about Chinese um, highlighting the importance of its particles. And what is interesting is that people claim that um, the sentence final particles in modern Chinese can serve as time indicators, like um, some of the particles signal present, um, but in fact, it's more like current relevance. And some sentence particles signal past, and that is even more interesting because you don't really find similar cases in other languages of Chinese. And um, Joseph Atkins, um, a grammar of colloquial Chinese as exhibited in the Shanghai dialect, um, also gives many interesting examples. So I will read through some of these examples um, to get you a feel of how the sentence final particles work. Yiwu sang li ba xia ge zhe is zhe. It's about current relevance, like present perfect. Si le si long de wa te zhe, zhe. Biu ding zhe, ba xiu de yu ji di zhong zhe. Nong zi ji zi bu do di de le ge. Ge, or past. I'll pass as well. Some other examples, which I took from um, a famous story called uh, um, The History of Little Henry. There are some other non special grammatical features. One is that Shanghai Wu has a very rich topic construction system. And uh, it is also known to have a special topic construction called copying topics. And um, the language also has its uh, unique um, way to mark a question uh, using a ah, now also being obsolescent. I can understand it, but I never use it. For example, if you say, will you go to school tomorrow? You tomorrow ah, go to school. Nong ming zo a qi wo tang. Nong ming zo a qi wo tang. And there is um, also one construction uh, called me ho. Uh, rather good. Me ho. When you put it as a high order predicate uh, to be followed by a sentence. And the sentence must be non-veridical. That is, it is not a part of reality. So you say meho plus the sentence, which means on, if only s. Uh, so it is a fixed counterfactual construction that you don't find in, in other languages of China. Recently, in the past five years or so, um, people started talking about Shanghainese as being endangered. So uh, even with a population, a language population of 20 million, you can still talk about the language being endangered. That is because um, Shanghainese is losing a lot of its distinct features. Um, children are not allowed to use Shanghainese in classrooms, in schoolyards, and um, on public um, occasions, sales, shop assistants are not allowed to communicate in Chinese either. Um, so um, people find it disheartening and even alarming to find that lots of younger people would prefer to use Mandarin when they talk to people not in their own family. But even if you go to Shanghainese families, you will find that the small children, students, um, they would prefer to stick to Mandarin all the time. 
and it's only the parents um, who would like to still use Shanghainese. Uh, so that is a worrying sight in the eyes of many. This is a small pamphlet that you can download from this uh, DOI um, in which we used and uh, introduced more phrases and uh, about, uh, about the language and about the city of Shanghai. And finally, to use an expression in Shanghainese to say thank you. Xia Jianong. 